Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. So this video is going to be a little bit different, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail. So it's going to be IGCSE versus CBSE. So for those that do not know, CBSE is qualification in India. So this is the um, test that they would do. I've picked the correct year group to be grade 10, which is equivalent to our year 11 that does the IGCSE. And I had a comment in one of my videos and said, ah, the CBSE is uh, more difficult than the IGCSE. And honestly, I had no idea. So I thought I'd look up a paper that he suggested and have a look through and give you my thoughts and my comments on the CBSE paper and how it compares to IGCSE. Before I start, you know what I'm going to say. Please like, please subscribe. Okay, if you press the bell button, you will uh, be notified of the videos I produce. Really do appreciate it if you do click it. Right, so let's get looking at this paper. First thing I notice is a three hour long paper. And from what I can gather, it's a non-calculator paper. So it's gonna be quite intense, although it's out of 80 marks, so it's not too many marks. So you do have time on each question. Uh, the next thing I notice, there are internal choices between some of the questions. So you don't have to answer every question, like you do at IGCSE. And we have a mixture very similar to the IGCSE of short answer, very short answer, long answer questions. So let's actually get looking at these questions. So number one, we've got a HCF LCM question, worded kind of strangely. We've got a choice here of questions, so it makes your life a bit easier. Certainly, I think that's fair at IGCSE, that kind of question. Um, let's just go back to that, question two. Some of the zeros, quadratic, and the final value of k. Yeah, I would say that ventures into IB mathematics, into year 12, possibly top sets. Year 11 might look at things like that, so using discriminants, things like this, using roots polynomials generally. That's certainly true. Um, we've got a linear equation representation. I think that's fine for IGCSE. Um, arithmetic progressions, fine, it's just worded differently, differently here. Um, any question like this about finding roots or finding equal roots, that's certainly going into the IB and not really on the IGCSE course, that's true. Circle theorems we have as well. Uh, just having a quick look through. This is a kind of strange question. But, yeah, we'd have the maths at IGCSE, but we wouldn't be pr uh, trained for that kind of question. Um, knowing exact values, which you should know at IGCSE, but many people don't. Um, we don't generally do identities um, in year 11, that left to year 12. So sine squared uh, theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one, things like that. So as we go through, this is all on IGCSE here. Interestingly, they have these case study based questions, which I guess is their equivalent of a paper six, um, but it's a bit more structured, a bit more, I would say straightforward in comparison to the IGCSE. So I think finding equidistant points and finding the equation of that, that's certainly fine and there's more structure to it. And they've got a choice. Uh, oh, okay, so the based questions are compulsory. So any four subparts of each question. Okay, so that's interesting. Don't have to do every single subpart. Interesting to be aware of. There's a little bit more freedom on this test, which may then make it slightly easier. Um, this I would expect. Pyramids, we've worked for pyramids before in IGCSE. Um, yep, this is standard quadratics that we do as well. As we go through, uh, we've got some stats here. Estimate mean time, we do that. Cumulative frequency, spelt incorrectly, by the way. Just going to point that out. <laughs> uh, yep, um, I did a video on that very recently, actually. Uh, so this is fine, the statistics here. This is completing the square form, that we also do that. Some of these identities we don't do. I'm, I'm certainly aware of that. So some of the trig is a bit more advanced. Bit trigonometry is a bit more advanced. Um, Likewise, some of the work with quadratics is more on the advanced side. Uh, proving irrational, we used to do on the Edexcel course a long time ago, um, but I don't teach that anymore. So that has been seen. Uh, that standard stat stuff, standard trigonometry as well, as we scroll through the paper. And then we've got mode. Um, yeah, I mean, we have these kind of questions as well. One thing I do notice is the difference between the papers and a fewer diagrams. So they'll give you a written situation here, whereas generally on IGCSE, they will actually 
give you a picture of the situation. You may have to fill bits and pieces in, but I've noticed with this paper, the CBSE, they often like to give you a series of words, a phrase, a paragraph, which you then have to uh, build your own diagram around. And that's something we don't do as much at IGCSE as probably we ought to, but um, that's an interesting point. Saying the stats stuff is normal. I would say, just from looking at this particular paper, that the quadratics is a bit more advanced. I would agree with this. The trigonometry knowledge is probably a bit more advanced, probably dipping into our year 12, into our IB course. Uh, but certainly the stats is pretty similar. Number problems are similar. We've still got the uh, real life trig problems, which we do as well. So my conclusion to it, it is probably slightly harder. I think overall, I mean, this is really hard generalization from one paper. Uh, but one thing to take into account, as I said at the beginning, is that there is some options available to you. So you can avoid certain questions. Likewise, we should talk about the number of marks here as well. So at the paper four, which I talked about in my previous video, it's two hours, 15 minutes long, but you have 120 marks. Whereas here you've got three hours, but a maximum of 80 marks. So you do have a far more time. Probably that's a good thing to show exactly what you can do as a mathematician to answer. I've also picked equivalent papers here. So I've got the standard, not the basic paper, which is equivalent to our extended on the IGCSE. Okay, so that's my initial thoughts on it. Please, again, put in the comments below if you agree or disagree with what I said, or you've got more examples of trickier questions, perhaps on this paper, these papers rather than the IGCSE. Or perhaps you're from India yourself and you've been in both systems and you can compare like with like and give your own opinion down below. I'll be really interested to hear what you have to think. All right. Bye bye for now.